But today, we wanted to talk to you about what does it mean for a diet to work? And the reason that this um, kind of became a subject is because, you know, we have videos out there about being high carb and about eating plant-based and about, you know, avoiding animal proteins and animal fats and all the, you know, different things like that. And one of the things that we get told all the time, I mean, we get argued with on our videos quite often, but one of the things that we get told all the time is that, you know, being keto or paleo or low carb or whatever diet they pick works. That's what they say. I don't need science. This, I know what works. Someone actually told me that the other day, uh, yesterday. She yesterday. told me, I don't, I don't need science. I know what works. And then she went on to tell me that she wants to eat like the cavemen do. And so my response was, if you don't believe in science, how do you know what the cavemen eat? And then she deleted the whole comment right. string. <laughs> that happened to us twice yesterday. It did happen twice this week. Once yesterday and once the day before. Right. So. Good um, morning, Laura. Hey, Laura good morning, and Valerie. Valerie. It's good to see you this morning. Um, so I, I, we morning, gotta, Allison. Allison's <laughs> here too. Yay, that's fun. Yeah, one more. Um, oh, another one. I got to scroll. Oh, uh -huh. nope. Allison's on. So it made me start thinking when people think about diets and eating, what does it mean when they say it works? And usually what it means or what I take away from it when they say that is that they lose weight. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I think that's the only kind of criteria that people have when it comes to diet is do they lose weight? Yeah, we got a little bit more of a stringent criteria than that. Right, we do. And I, I think that what happens is people feel like if they can do something that causes them to lose weight, then it's working. And they don't think about... What is it doing to their health? The repercussions. And yeah. you know, so what I what I say to people is, there are lots of different ways that you can lose weight. What's Laura got to say? Tell her you are science. It just remains to be seen. What? Yeah, exactly. It just depends. <laughs> what part of the outcome are you? How did? What is? How does your diet work for you? Exactly. Um, so there are lots of ways you can lose weight. You could do heroin. You lose weight that way. Um, you could be on chemo. You'll definitely lose weight that way. Uh, you could take diet pills from the 80s yeah. that have you know all been pulled off the market because they've shown to be deadly and to, to, to damage uh, your uh, damage damage your yes, organs. Yes. What does she say? Cocaine. Cocaine. Is a great and way you, to... cocaine that works too. Yeah. So there are lots of ways out there. If your only goal is to find a skinnier coffin. Yeah. There are lots of options for that. What I put it in one comment, I said is winning the race to a skinnier coffin is not a win. That's not a win. You know, it's like putting on your tombstone, I have the right of way. That's not a win. Right. It doesn't work that way. And so what I'm trying to encourage people to do is when they think about diet or how they eat. Now, so diet is a funny word. In regular nomenclature, the way we use it, it means eating less to lose weight. To lose weight, right. But if you talk about diets in general like if i say the diet of an elephant i'm not talking about how what an elephant's doing to lose weight i'm talking about the although way they do need to lose some weight now i'm talking about the way that an elephant eats like the way the food that's good for them so that's what i would like to when we talk about diet i would like for people to, to move away from the goal of a diet to be just to lose weight and instead the goal to be what is the ideal or what is the optimum way to feed a human, what does that look like? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's the piece that gets lost in the whole diet conversation, and I'm definitely seeing that in the online space, that people for, fail to take into consideration that for a diet to work, it also has to make sure that you stay healthy. It has to be a lifestyle. It can't just be a, a temporary thing. Hey, Good morning, this morning, Deborah. Thank you for sharing. I mean, sharing. I thought about that this morning, and I realized something, realization, bells went off, <laughs> that I don't, from the, from the normal term diet, when people think of diet, I don't do that. I eat what I want, when I want, as much as I want, mm -hmm. all day long. And my weight stays exactly the same. And it's because I'm not taking in processed foods, I'm not taking in animal products, I'm not taking the things that trick your body into exceeding your caloric intake, like what mm -hmm. you should have, which is what animal products do and what processed food does. I think the other thing that people think about when they think about diet is something that is a short period of time. Like it's something you do, mm -hmm. like you would diet for a show when you were bodybuilding. Right. You know, X number of weeks or whatever it is, you diet and then you go off the diet and then you go back to eating the way you were eating before. Thank you for the smiling faces and yeah, thumbs up and all those yeah. fun things. They're wonderful, thank you so much. Um, and I think that that's a mistake too, that people feel like somehow, and I, I this I don't really understand, but they feel like somehow they're going to 
eat healthy or whatever that means to them for a period of time, they're going to lose the weight and then it's going to somehow stay off when they go back to eating the old way. Now, and, I, and I'm really not trying to be mean here, but as, uh -oh. I, as I told Robin yesterday, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm but. Listening, yes, there is a but, and that's unfortunate, but I have to say this. So I'm discussing this with somebody uh, two days ago and they're telling me that, well, they work for them. And they lost 60 pounds, I think the person said. And I'm like, fantastic, you know, that's great. But then, I mean, they can see our picture and they can see how we look and we're healthy and we look like we're at our optimum weight and all that stuff. And I look at them and they're not even close. They look like they're unhealthy as can be. I don't believe they're not posting new pictures of their great looking self if they've lost all this weight. Right. So either they're yo-yo dieting, which is what I suspect is happening, mm -hmm. which means they go on a diet, they lose 60 pounds, they go off the diet, they gain 70. You know, which is typical. You, you go on these fad diets. You We've told you 98% of, of calorie restrictive diets don't work long term. They gain right. the weight back. Exactly. Or on the other hand, maybe they just have so much weight to lose that you can't tell they lost 60 pounds, which is possible. Yeah, it is. And, and, I, and I always encourage them. They lose, you lose any weight when you need to lose weight is fantastic. And I'm very happy for them. My only concern, as I said, is I hope that your short term desire to lose weight at any cost doesn't give you long-term, you know, illness. Because the key to living a long, a long life is living a long, healthy life. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in your 80s and your 90s, you don't want to be dependent on other people. You don't want to not be get off the toilet, have to be in a wheelchair, lose limbs because you got type 2 diabetes, or all these other things that happen to the most people in this country that aren't a standard American diet. Well, and that, that's, I guess that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to change the way people think about dieting. And instead, I, I honestly believe because it worked for us when we, so we used to, before we moved to eating this way, we ate something that kind of resembled the Mediterranean diet. Um, not because we were dieting, but just because that's how we, we chose to eat. We just, we were, you know, healthy granola type people. And so we kind of ate the Mediterranean diet. And when we started moving toward being plant-based, not even being 100% plant-based, just moving toward it, the weight started coming off, we started getting more energy, we started feeling better. And I feel like if people stopped looking for that magic bullet, that way, that diet that works, just so it lose, they lose weight, and started looking for how can I make my body healthier and allow my body to become and run in its optimum way and feed it in a way that lets it run in its optimum way, what they'll find is they'll be moving toward um, eating more plant-based and they'll lose weight. That's just what happens when you eat this way. Mm -hmm. So I think the goal needs to be be healthy. And success uh, feeds desire, right? The more, more successful you are, the mm -hmm. more you're going to want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, so you start seeing weight, you say, well, if I do a little bit more, I'm going to get a little bit more benefit. That's what happened to us. We just kept moving closer and closer and closer because we were like, oh, I like what's going on. And the more we learned, the more we felt like, oh, you know what? It would be healthier if we didn't eat animal products at all. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of happened over time. Yeah. So it's definitely not something I'm interested in arguing with people about. I, you know, and I told the woman yesterday, I said to her, look, if, if, if you're happy doing what you're doing, I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here to talk to people who are looking for ideal health are looking for ways to uh, you know increase their chances at having a long and healthy life and if that's not where you are then it doesn't matter and that's where that's when she told me i don't need science what i'm doing works i'm like okay hey. you know i i can't i can't argue with no, that if absolutely. science doesn't good isn't good for you i can't say anything about it mm -hmm. but it was kind of funny when she then told me she wants to eat the way the cavemen eat because i'm like well if you don't believe in science how do you know um, how do you know what cavemen are eating what's laura got to say can never understand it. How do they think they can go back to their old habits and not gain weight? Well, let us not be logical now. Yes. But that, how could we? Yeah, I agree. Um, well, if, I, go ahead. So the reason why they, they don't, I don't think they make a conscious decision that, okay, I lost weight, now I'm going to go back to the way I was eating. Because they got to know that the way they used to eat is why they gained the weight. I mean, there's not, it's not like you have to be a rocket science, scientist for that. Right. The problem is, is they don't know any better, so they just start eating. That's true. I mean, they're on a diet, and a diet always has a term. When you use the term diet, you always say, I'm going to diet for six weeks, I'm going to diet until I lose this much weight. And then once you reach that threshold, it's like, okay, now I don't have to worry about it anymore. And the problem is you do have to continuously worry about it if you're doing that type of dieting. If you do a lifestyle like we're doing, you don't worry about it at all. You never worry about it. You never think about it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I think too that the, that people feel like when they're on a diet, they're being deprived. Right. And so that that whole emotional deprivation idea, and that that's a psychology thing. That if you feel deprived, then things that you're not having make you you know, you want them and you yearn after them and you have all these desires, and that becomes a challenge. Most don't think about it at all. And yeah, exactly. A diet is temporary. And so when you when you put yourself in a situation where you're trying to restrict calories, which we've told you is trying to trick 2.5 million years worth of evolution into eating less, mm -hmm. doesn't work very effectively. So you're trying to restrict calories. You're tr trying to deprive yourself of things that you love. And then that just makes you unhappy and it doesn't work well. And so, yeah, of course you're not going to do that on, a, on long term. But if you can educate yourself in a way that you start to recognize, not are you depriving yourself of those things, but you're um, allowing yourself to eat healthier and, and you're giving, you're rewarding yourself with good nutrition. I think it's, it's a mind shift when it comes to that. It absolutely thing. is. I mean, like I said, the, the, the healthier you, you feel and the better you feel, the more you're going to want to do it. I mean, it's just... I think the more nature. you know. It's like, it's like you know, it, it's actually no different to me than having a piece of your favorite dessert, having one piece and a desire to have more because of, the, because of that sensation you get. Well, it's the same type of effect. The healthier you feel, the more you're going to want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's true. So, I don't know. It, just, it, it was interesting to me that I, now twice this week I've had this conversation about diets that work. And then when I, as the conversation moved on, when we got to the point where I was like, I don't understand, how is this working for you? And they deleted the, yes, the twice, string. Deleted twice the string. it's happened. Yeah. So that's a little frustrating, but I wanted to kind of talk to you about what does it mean for a diet to work? For me, it means that I can eat and I don't feel deprived and I feel full and um, I'm, I'm at my ideal weight and I'm healthy. Those are the things that matter for me when it comes to, to food, not just, not just my weight. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. anyway, did you have anything you wanted to add That's about it. diets that work? I've said my piece. Thank you to all of you who liked and shared and let other people know because we don't do this for our health, we do it for yours and we want other everyone to know, you know, what it means to eat well and, and have the knowledge that they need to make the right choices for their life, whatever that means to them. And that's our goal. So please do like and share and subscribe and let other people know about it. If you have not gone over to our page and given us a review, please do pop over and give us a five-star review because apparently that's how people judge whether a page is good or not, if it has good reviews. So some of you have written some wonderful yes, things. We really do wonderful. appreciate them. What's Allison saying? Healthy food becomes addictive. You're right. It does. It does. Absolutely. Feeling this way is worth it. Yes, a zillion times over, agree yep. with that. You're welcome, Allison. Thank you for letting us know you appreciate it. Yes, we, we appreciate that a lot. You guys know we have our website, rnrjourney.com, where you can become a member and get access to the community page and even more exclusive content, where I post a lot of the um, articles and the science that we get our information from, so you can actually read it if you want more than we can share in the 15 minutes we're on live here in the morning. So that's there at rnrjourney.com. And our webinar is at howtofeedahuman.com where you can get access to our master class, which will give you a whole bunch of foundational knowledge so that you can start making decisions that are better for your health mm -hmm. on what to eat, when to eat, and why you eat. So a lot of psychology in And that. we're getting an increase in volume of people looking at that webinar lately. So yeah. people are starting to understand and starting to want to learn from us, which is awesome. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We're starting to get some good feedback. So we appreciate everyone that's here. We thank you for being here on a regular basis. You too, Deborah. Have a really good day. Yes, thank Deborah. you so thank much. You. Um, I think that's all I've got. That's all I've got too. All right, we're going to eat breakfast so Russ can go to his meeting. That's right. And so with that, we will say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.